How much are your jeans? Uh, 40. 40? Yeah. What, a pair? Yeah. 40 pound a pair? And they got 35 quid in the pocket. How much have you sold already this morning? Break my heart. So what, what sort of price would you do on all three, all three pairs? Welcome back to Hillside, I suppose. The big hill of death. <laughs> I always park my car, never knowing if it's going to be safe or not. I always have to slip it in gear. But look at this. Look at the hill. <laughs> Let's get into it. 50p each. How much is the hat, mate? 50p. I like that. Stone roses, isn't it, I think. Oh, wait, cheers, I appreciate it, thank you. I'm oh. sure you'd look a right couple doing that. <laughs> That's all right, yeah. <laughs> Stone roses. Very nice, very, very nice. Good start to the to the morning. A lot of trust in that pole there, mate, if I'm honest. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Just a quick interjection from your editor. The last car boot video and this car boot video, the, uh, the camera is very shaky. I had it strapped into a t-shirt pocket. The pocket's quite loose, so it's wobbling around. Didn't think it was going to be as bad as it was. And I will never do that again, I promise. I've cut loads of footage out from both videos because it's just not good to watch in that condition. So, lesson learned. Look at these, look. Proper car boot prices, look. Yeah. Hey? Eh? Price to sell. Exactly. I wish there was some. I wish there was some I could buy. Look at that. 5p. I've never seen 5p on, a, on an item for ages. Look at that. I wish I had something to buy. <laughs> well, there's lots to buy. To... I know, yeah. Chic shoes. Well, it's good to see you anyway. I'm sure you're going to sell out today. Thank you. 5p is crazy. How much is the ink, mate? 20 quid. Was it 2018? That should be all right, shouldn't it still? No, it says on it. Yeah. Well, yeah, you got some more ink down there as well, didn't you? Are you selling that as well? Yeah. Which one's that one? 301. Is that all you got? Yeah. 2019. Would you do two quid for the lot? I think it's a pack. Yeah, no, is that right? Yeah. What? Crew, Ricky. what in the hell is that? How's it going? Good, you're all right. Yeah, it's a motorbike thing, it's missing something. Oh, yeah, I thought, I thought it was a cassette player. Yeah. Do you watch the channel, do you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I appreciate yeah. it, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Yeah, I've been waiting. I've come here quite a bit. And yeah. you sometimes get here really early. And I, just, I, I, know the, I know the outline of this. So I see it in the video. Yeah, yeah. And then I go, oh, no, I'm not there on time. I've been, I've been, normally, what I've done is, what you, you I did, do, I've done boarding this morning. The time, and then I, then I come here because I have to pass it on the way home. So it's pointless yeah. not coming in, isn't it? Yeah, well, I often do the new forest, you see. I've not been up there yet. Yeah, I, I, I did say I was going to try and uh, do a few different places this year, but I still haven't bothered. Yeah. Okay, yeah look at that. Cool. How's it going with it all, anyway? Because I'll, I'll yeah. try and follow you, and I've seen your movement. I'm just pumping, out, just yeah. pumping stuff out at the minute, content-wise. Yeah. What are these games down there? Are they PC, are they? Yeah, wherever they are. Yeah, have a dig through, there's loads of shit. I can't so I'm, I'm gonna dive over. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna land where you are. No, 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 no. If I start doing that, I won't, if I start doing that, I'll lose my suppleness, won't I? I've got to keep it in practice. I'm a jumper, baby. Oh, look at that, it's all fell down, didn't even realise. Jumped it, baby. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> 2017s. How much are the boots, mate? A couple of quid. I guess if you cleaned them, they'd be a fiver, wouldn't they? <laughs> I'll take them for two. <laughs> <laughs> Your job when you get back. Yeah, I'll yeah. take them before he gets the baby wipe out. Yeah. Well, hello, that's you've got another car boot, have you? Yeah, 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 that's what yeah, I'll, I'll do, yeah. Work. What's she, um, uh, on the Ricky Resells. <laughs> okay. I'll try and look you out like that. I'll follow quite a few of them, actually. I'm going to be a right old prick, well, man. I love it. And that, boy, it just gets me in the buzz. I keep wanting to go. Yeah, that's it. With the wind, I was watching them. Like, it's just something fun to watch, isn't it? Yeah, like, it is. It's something, it's something yeah, to watch. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's quite good viewing, I'll be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's it's just something to chill in. I love it. I yeah. Nice. You always learn something as well. I'm, I'm forever learning. Yeah. No, yeah, you too. Thank you. Thank you, mate, as well. I appreciate yeah, that. Buddy. Thank you. Thank you. What are these DM Undergrounds? <laughs> Dr. Martin Undergrounds. How much are the boots? 20. What size are they? Oh yeah. Lots of underground stuff. Oh, you've got three pairs of them. I wonder if you can... Do you know if you can sell on underground stuff? No, I don't mean you. I mean, like, me, obviously. I wonder if you can or not. 
So I know you got the raw mayo because Dr. Martin's raw mayo. They want your case for it. I like the idea of this though. I'm I'm tempted. <laughs> Let me just check something up. You can sell it. I mean, not me. I, I sell things online. You see. Oh, I see. You're you're fine. It's not me. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'd. I said a little look. I think I'd struggle. So they're underground as well. I mean, they're like new other, aren't they? Uh. So these are these are these one one pair been used or is that just dusty? It's just dusty, isn't it? Are they yours? No, no. That, Somebody else's. Yeah, it's just gone over to get a drink and that. Is she? I'll leave it for now and I'll see what happens. I'll come and see her when she comes back. I might make her a cheeky offer. He, I might make him a cheeky offer. No, no, you're all right. No, you're all right. People have actually sold some before, though. People have actually managed to sell some. So, uh, who knows? If we go back there and they're still there, I'm going to offer £50, I think. What would you like? No idea. Big look at that big, look at that big crop. I know. Oh. The crocodile is good, isn't it? Just knocked your t-shirt off there. That's alright. Because I, I don't know how it was, I'm sorry. That's alright. How much are these dinosaurs? I was hoping to get two pounds for them. Two pounds? Yeah. We're still making noises. As long as you don't, know, you don't move them, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight. Would you consider five for the lot? Which one? For, would you consider five for these four? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do, yeah. let's do that. Let's do that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You don't need a bag, do you? No, no, I've got a bag. Brokey, yeah. brokey, brokey. There you go, I've got a five. Lovely, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Sorry, alligator, crocodile, but... That's okay, the croc will have to wait. <laughs> See you in a while, crocodile. <laughs> You're Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Bye. Damn. Can you hear them dinosaurs kicking off? Big up Dumpster Diver UK. Great channel. If you're not watching them and you like all this kind of stuff, you've got to head over there, man. Amount of shit people throw away is crazy. Hampshire Football Association. Yes. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna buy that. I think I'm gonna. I think I might buy that. Okay. Yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> Let's buy it. Thank you so much. Uh, do you want the hanger there? I'll yeah, pop that in the bag. Thank you. And I'll dig you some cash out. Have you got? Can you break a ten or not? Yeah. You can. Oh, beautiful. Sorry to do that to you. Yeah, that's all right. What are these here? Do I want these as well? Yeah, draw one. Some older uh, 90s ones there. How much are these? A pound. I'll buy them as well. Do you want to take that hanger off? Yeah. How much are them ones? Oh, they got, they're, they're all on there. Okay, there you go, pound. one pound. I'll take them as well. Actually, let me look at the condition first. Oh, a bit tatty, isn't they? That's what happens though, they're old clothes, isn't they? That's what happens. Yeah. Okay, just those two. So, so seven, got, please, yeah. Yeah, you've got the two. Two and one, pound, yeah. yeah. Sorry. That's all right. I'll help you here. Sit. Lovely stuff, thank right. you so much. They are cool though, I really appreciate it. That's all right, you're welcome. How much have you sold already this morning? Break my heart, tell me Tell me some more well, stuff was there. Tops, there was about 12 or something. Oh, fuck yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> I did say break my heart. They, they, they went before everything else. Yeah, I did say break my heart. I've got a funny feeling who might have brought them as well. Thank you so I'm much. You the last one. I'll tell him he's a. No, I won't take it here. <laughs> thank you, bye. Love you. Love you? What the fuck? Love you, bye. That's all right, she can have it for free. She can have a free love you. Crazy. How much are your jeans? 40. 40? What, a pair? 40 pound a pair? Are they good? Are they got 35 quid in the pocket? Sorry? And they got 35 quid in the pocket. They're virtually new, they've had a bit more. They're 34, 32, 32. Gotcha. I'll have to look into them then, won't I? I appreciate it. 40 quid. Lucky to get 25 on resale, mate. 
God love them. God love them. I'm tempted to get those Dr. Martin London Undergrounds. They are brand new. And you can sell them. Oh shit, I've come to the end of the boot sale. I'm going back again then. Go back on the opposite side this side, this time. Pick up what we missed. I'm not going back down that 40 quid a pair of jeans way. What? Who smoked crack this early on a Sunday? Incredible. What's all that? I'm not going back over there, I'm too scared. I'm scared that every time I stand next to her, I'll lose a pound. She's probably got special bank account draining capabilities. So the prices are crackheads. BRB. How much are the tyres and stuff? How much are the quid each? Well, I think we'll we'll have one at least. Does it suit me? Does it suit me? Oh, good. <laughs> two. Okay, we'll take these two. So I told you a lot of weird stuff. I've gone for the Royal Mail one. You willing to do a deal on them boots, mate? You willing to do a deal on them boots? Thanks very much. Yeah, so that's the chat that come around about the Royal Mail stuff. Well, the underground you've got in you. Yeah, it's just old uniform. Is it from you or somebody else? Yeah, they're quite old ones. That's what I was, that's what I was looking at because these have obviously got. Um... Yeah, of course. When I was, yeah. So what what sort of price would you do on all three all three pairs? All three. Give me something to mull over. 15 quid, four, three. 15? Four, three. Well, I can't say no to that then, can I? No. I, th I think the lady got the wrong, <laughs> the wrong message. What? I th I'll take these then. That's fine. Okay. How much are the jackets? <laughs> Eight quid. Yeah. It's got the liner as well. Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah, so... Um, been used. 15, yeah? Yeah, take them. Yeah, fine. Thank you, mate. Are you going to come back? Are you? No, I'll put them in the bag. I've got a bag. Now, I don't know if you remember. Five minutes ago, they were £20 a pair for that lady. It wasn't hers, though. And that was £15 for all of them. Bear in mind, I had the price in mind. I was going to offer £50, but I thought I'd let him make me an offer first. And my God, am I glad that I did, because I almost gave the price first. There's another lesson for me there as well. Because sometimes I'll do that. So what I need to remember is, get them to give me a price first. £15. <laughs> it's £5 a pair, guys. <laughs> okay. Do you want them in the box or do you want to take them? If you can, is that all right? I yeah, don't... of course you can. Is that all right? I did have my little bag. That's okay, I'll leave that here for a second. Okay. And I'll start, I'll start bagging up. Bagging up. But I almost left that there then. Oh, no, don't do that. That would have been no good, would it? The jackets and stuff are cool, but I just don't know, I think they'll sit around a bit longer. I do appreciate it though. Thank That's you. Right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Save me a few quid. <laughs> there we go, 15 quid. They were, 50, they were 20 pound each a minute ago. That's 15 quid for them all. I was going to go pay 50 quid. Crazy. I'm glad I asked first. I was honestly going to pay 50 quid. I feel like I need to run home before they come back out. I'm going to go put this in the car and then come back. So I think I've got all we're going to get from that car boot sale, actually. Now I've come to the back to the car, so we're going to go home and we'll have a look at what we got. What a steal. What on earth actually just happened then? Rio de Janeiro, mon petit frit potats. Alton car boot was very, very good. Even though I was only there quickly, we did really well. Weird score on the DMs. I'll tell you a bit more about them in a minute. I'm sure you've already seen the footage, but crazy stuff. I am very, very hot. I've just set up a swimming pool in the back garden for the kids and it is absolutely massive, bigger than what I thought it was. That's what she said. So you'll remember the first purchase. I think it was this one. It's the Hampshire Football Association Umbro Top. It's really sweet. It's really nice. It's an old one, two pound. I say, go on then. Go on. It's a long sleeve as well. Probably a ref. So go on then. Break my heart. Tell me. How many more have you sold today? Shit, there was 12 different ones, all like this, which means they're probably all United and Liverpool and whatever. Oh my goodness. But that is still a nice top. I haven't checked the value yet, but it's got to be worth more than two quid, isn't it? Yeah, I wonder if I can unpick that. I mean, it isn't the best job in the world, but it probably would show if I unpicked. I might risk unpicking it. 
I might do that. I might risk it. I think it's a referee top. Currently, the value on that is whatever somebody wants to pay for it. I saw these while I was there as well. She had loads of vintage clothing. Dread to think what I missed, but fair play to her who picked it up. Got these Adidas's now for a pound. Just a standard trefoil, little hit there. They're the older silver tag, so they're like very late 80s, early 90s, before 1999 at least. Just a nice, very nicely faded essential pair of joggers. I'll pick off. They're a good size. If they fit me, then I will wear them myself because they are beautifully, beautifully faded. Takes years. The reason why people like the fade so much is it takes years to get it to do that naturally. And you can tell the difference from a forced fade to a natural fade. So the only way to get them to look like this is time. It looks better on t-shirts though. We have replaced the Jurassic World dinosaurs. We bought a load last week for seven pound. I think we've made about 28 quid profit on those so far. So we replaced them again. I paid five pound for these four. Gonna be more. Not sure on the exact value, but it's going to be more than a fiver. Inks, 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 new and sealed, out of date. Not by far either, to be fair. This one's 2019, this one's 2018. Paid £2 for the lot. Yeah, sound they are. Haven't looked at the value, but at least a tenner each or a tenner for the pair as well. Like £10 and £10, depending on what they are. Easy. Some Nike Tiempos. They were two quid. They need a bloody good scrub, but I don't mind getting my hands dirty for that. No idea on value. You've got to be 15, 20 after a cleanup, isn't they? Surely. Now, what's mad about this hat is I was looking at this on Vinted the other day. Somebody had one listed for a tenner, and I almost pulled the trigger on it. Stone Roses, a couple of little marks and stuff. 50p. 50 pence. Value wise, I think it's about 10, 12 quid. It's not much at all. It's not actual Adidas. The bundle of the lady of the man next door to the Dr. Martins. We've got a Liberty tie. Liberty, fantastic brand. They were a pound each. I didn't even bother hustling. I don't bother. When the price is really good, I don't bother. Well, I'm not too sure I'm having a bit of a risk. I'll go for it. So we've got a vintage made in England, Peter K Royal Mail tie. So Postman Pat would have worn this while he was coming around delivering to you. Or if he was in the office trying to work out how much more we can charge for stamps. Pound each. And of course, you saw these. We have three pairs of these. Three pairs. One of them slightly different design. So they're Dr. Martin London Undergrounds. Blue tab there on that one. They're in immaculate condition. He said he's had these for about 15 years himself. So that one's got the blue tab. Oh, that one's got the blue tab as well. These ones have no box. There we go. That one's got more of the undergroundy logo thing. But they're... They're brand new. They're brand spanking new. I'm trying to find a date on the inside. Normally you can find them on the inspection sticker. I don't know, but it's, it's, they're like the Royal Mail ones. There's like a weird thing about whether you can sell them or not. These ones are actually made in England, so that shows the age on these ones. But it's, um, it's really, it's a strange one. It's like, can you sell them or can't you? People do sell them, people have sold them, I've sold them. So I'm hoping we can sell them. I'm pretty sure we can. But yeah, immaculate condition, immaculate. If you're a mod or that kind of, you have that kind of fashion or punk rocker or whatever else, these sort of things sell really well in that community, especially with the underground version, a bit better than having the raw mail on, in my opinion. But when I first went round, I said to the lady, how much are the shoes? 20 pounds each. I was like, hmm, interesting. I walked off and thought, because the geezer wasn't there to hustle with, but if he's there on the go back, I might offer him 50 quid. In fact, I will offer him 50 quid. Came back, spoke to him. How you doing, mate? Be all right. You with the boots. Lovely. How much for all of them then, mate? And he went, oh. I was thinking, please say lower than 50. That'd be great. Say 45 quid, say 40 quid. He went, 15? Huh? But she, she said, huh? I looked at her and she went, 15 for all three? I went, yep, yeah, cheers, mate. I'll take them. Looked at the lady and said, saved me a few quid, didn't it? So I don't think she actually knew exactly how much to be asking. There you go, look. March 2000. I'm not sure if she was punting or not, but he went, yeah, go on, 15 quid for all three. I don't even say the price he did. I could have haggled him down to a tenner, I reckon, but why would I do that? So some really bizarre and really strange pickups from Alton Carboo, but I love Alton. It's so relaxed, so chill compared to some of the other ones. It was really nice to meet all of you today. I bumped into a lot of people today. I went to two car boot sales. You would have seen one or the other. Not too sure which one you've seen yet. 
I bumped into a lot of people, way more than I normally would. So it's really nice to speak to you all. As always, remember, if you catch me off guard, I might have a face on for a second until I realise what's going on. But that normally takes about half a second, and then I'm like, hello. <laughs> so I really appreciate it. Please do keep coming up and saying hello. It makes my day. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Your time is so valuable to me. And when you drop a comment down below, it makes it all worthwhile for me. Take care. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next one, whichever one this is. I don't know, I'm not too sure. It's going to be one of them.